Hi, I'm Eli from Multifit and today I'm going to show you how to fit a leg lifter. But first we need to figure out which side you want. So what we've got here is set up a right hand leg lifter and a left hand leg lifter. And how you tell the difference is when you're laying on the bed and looking at the ceiling, this one here is the right hand leg lifter and this one here is the left hand leg lifter. This is a right hand leg lifter. And this here is a left hand leg lifter. For right and left hand leg lifters, they also have a specific footrest, so specifically a right hand footrest and a specifically left hand footrest. This is a left handed leg lifter and this is a left handed leg rest. And the way you tell that this here is a left handed um, leg lifter frame is this little plate here. This little plate bends out to the left hand side and on the right handed main frame it bends out to the right so this one here is a left. And how you fit this foot rest is the easiest way is to get the leg lifter like that. So it comes with four screws. An Allen key comes with it. And the box. Just wriggle it around to get the um, four screws in. The screws might not locate straight away. And then sort of just nub them up. There you go. This is the extra transfer rail and the purpose of the transfer rail is to offer extra support. So how we fit the transfer rail is we take these out. The best thing to do is fit the rail to the leg lifter first before you attach the leg lifter to the bed. Because once the leg lifter is already attached to the bed, it's really hard to fit the rail. Just like the left hand mainframe has a left hand footrest, also there's a left hand specific rail. You can't fit a right hand rail onto a left hand leg lifter. So how this fits on here is with, with two um, bolts. So there's a washer, a washer there, and a, and a little washer there as, as well. So that goes on there like that. So how you know it's a um, you fit you fitted the right rail. So this is a left hand rail. Is the the leg lifter will go up and down. If you try and fit a right handed rail to a left handed leg lifter then the leg lifter won't go up and down like that. So positioning these thick washers um, it's best to have them parallel to the ground so that that means there's more adjustability for thicker mattresses. There are two types of attachments a profiling bed attachment and a standard bed attachment. So these are ensemble bed attachments and these are profiling bed attachments. So I'll show you how to fit the ensemble um, bed attachments first. Just lift up the mattress, put down the stability bar. So just imagine this bed is an ensemble standard bed. So imagine this here is not a profiling bed. So this here is the stability bar and this here is the back fixing. Attaching the stability bar to the back fixing is simple. So the cord goes through there and then that goes through the cleat. So pull it through. There's plenty of um, cord. This can fit with a single bed, a queen bed, a king size bed. Once we've got the stability bar and the back fixing set up, we'll put the mattress back on. Pull this cord back and then 
pull the cord up and that locks it. So what you're doing is this back fixing is, is pulling the leg lifter against the edge of the bed. Once we've set up our stability bar and back fixing, it's time to put the leg lifter onto the stability bar. So let me take these out. The leg lifter fits in this slot here. Now what we're going to do is put the leg lifter up onto these nipples. So that goes in there like that. Cool, and you've just attached a leg lifter to a standard ensemble bed, just like that. So, just to conclude what we've done here, is we've set up the stability bar, the back fixing, and we've attached the leg lifter to the stability bar using these two screws, so that one and that one. Once you've attached the leg lifter to the stability bar with these two screws, Then wind down the feet till they touch the ground. When the feet are touching the floor, it gives the leg lifter a little bit more stability. The main things that give the leg lifter stability are the, the um, feet on the floor, the stability bar underneath, the weight of the mattress, and the weight of the person on the mattress. And when your leg lifter turns up uh, and you see that it doesn't have this foot um, on it, the reason for that is it's, a, it's an extra um, profiling, like high-low beds, they don't really need that foot anyway, so we don't include it in the box. But if you need the extra foot, then it's, it's classed as an extra. If you've got a really heavy mattress, it's gonna hold the leg lifter down anyway. So I've set up the leg lifter a foot and a half away from the head end of the bed and it's a, an inch higher here and an inch lower here. The correct technique is hold onto the rail with your right hand on the left hand leg lifter because this is the left hand leg lifter. <coughs> Press the up button on the handset. And at this position, you'll feel like you're going to fall back this way. That's when you need to really concentrate on putting your head towards the pillow. So for taller people, they'll probably prefer to have the leg lifter more down this way because you see um, my head's quite close to the headboard here. So for taller people, you want to have the leg lifter positioned a bit more down that way. So when it gets to this point, you need to be able to shuffle your legs across. So you need to be able to shuffle your legs off the side of the bed by yourself. And the reason why the leg lifter doesn't take your legs down is because it doesn't have a hump in the foot rest here. Um, the reason why it takes your legs up is because it, it's got a hump in the leg rest on this side. If it was made to get your legs off, then it would have a, a hump on this side. Um, the reason why it doesn't have a hump on this side is because when the, when the leg rest is up, you wouldn't be able to slide your legs off to get your feet onto the bed if there was a, another hump in the foot rest. And another reason why this leg lifter isn't designed to get your legs out of bed is because the foot rest relies on your feet and your legs to, uh, to turn the leg rest as it goes onto the bed. So if there's no legs on the leg rest, the leg rest won't turn and you can't get your legs back onto it anyway. 
initially push against the hump on the leg rest to make it swivel under your legs. So what you really want is to have the mattress about an inch higher than the um, than this end of the leg lifter. And the reason for that is so that the legs can slide over the leg lifter to get out. But you don't want the leg lifter so low that the, the foot rest pushes down the mattress too much and tears the mattress. So if, if the leg lift is too low, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to push down too much on the mattress. You want the leg lifter low enough so that you can get the legs out, but high enough so that the foot rest can clear the mattress when it, once it goes up. A good idea is to have the mattress really pushed up against the leg lifter and that's the purpose of the stability bar is to pull the, the mattress up hard against the leg rest because if there's a gap, gap there like that then the, feet, the legs can fall through this gap which is bad so the, the mattress really needs to be pushed up against the leg lifter like that the mattress has to be pushed up against the leg lifter so that there's a really smooth transition for the legs to get off once the foot rest is down. So for fitting to a profiling bed, we no longer need the stability bar and back fixing. These are only for standard inner sprung beds. Um, so we're fitting to a profiling bed now, so all we need is these little clamps. It's generally easier to fit the leg lifter to a profiling bed especially if it's a scan 385 Invicare bed. How the profiling clamp works is you take off these screws and there's three parts. So there's the back piece, the, uh, the middle piece and then the front piece. So the middle spacer has big holes in it. So the big holes allow it to go through the back piece like that and then the front piece has little holes so that goes on to the end there like that. And then you get your two screws. Put it through there like that. And keep in mind you've got two of these. So one, one for each side. So that goes in there like that. So the frame of the bed goes through this slot. And the leg lifter goes through this slot. So I'll show you, show you how to fit it now. The back piece fits over there like that and then the big hole spacer goes in next like that you get your other um, clamp one clamp goes here and one clamp goes here now that these are set up the last thing you have to do is put on these small hole spacers so the big hole ones are already in. So now you get your leg lifter. Attach that like that. Get your screws. Get your spacer. So now we're fitting the small hole spacer. screw goes in there like that that one there goes in there like that so now you got one side in now we can go to this side Once we have the clamps on, um, we leave the clamps a little bit loose so that we can move the leg lifter up and down as needed. Once the clamps are on, we can position it um, up and down the bed. Uh, so this one here, we'll set it up so that it's an inch lower than the surface of the mattress. So that looks pretty good, so we'll tighten that up at that setting. And then this piece here, we'll lift that up. And then 
tighten that off. The reason why we have this part up higher is so that the rail is um, a bit more accessible. So that's tightened up, that's tightened up. Now that we've got the leg lifter in a really good position, so it's a foot and a half away from the head uh, of the bed, it's an inch higher here and an inch lower here. Um, now we can set up the profile in the bed to, to go up to the preferred entry height. Usually a little bit lower is better, um, so that they can, the person's butt can get back as far as it can. So the perfect technique here is to have your knees together, um, both legs touching the footrest, um, the footrest hump, press the up button, hang onto the rail, and when it gets to this position you'll feel like you're going to fall backwards, that's when you really need to focus on putting your head towards the pillow, so you fall this way instead of falling this way. And for taller people you want you'd want to position the leg lifter down a bit more. The profile in bed will go all the way down and all the way up and it won't affect the leg lifter. The knee break works with the leg lifter. And the back rest works with the leg lifter as well. Lift up the bed to um, to make it a bit easier for you. So that's how the leg lifter works. It's a perfect solution for getting your legs into bed. Um, where it doesn't really work is for people that have hip injuries and can't twist. You need a certain amount of mobility for the leg lifter to work for you. But certainly for the people that um, can use the leg lifter um, without any strains it, it, it really does work well for them so yeah thanks for watching the video cheers go so that's how to set up the leg lifter um, if, you, if you can't use the leg lifter if it's too much strain to twist your body like the leg lifter makes you do um, then we recommend an easy access bed as another option and uh, click on the link to uh, view the easy access bed.